the evening we left Rabat and we were heading for the Canary Islands. We are on the way since one hour and a half. It's not very comfortable. Comfortable traveling is something else. In the first hours we had to beat against the waves to get away from the shallow coast of Morocco. Main reason for this is to avoid the fishing nets and fishing boats without lights. Everything is shaking. We have to, to go uh, a little bit more out into the ocean. So we are sailing a bit against the waves. But we have no choice, we have to go this way. Um, hopefully soon we can change the course a little bit. And we'll have the waves more from behind, then it will be more comfortable. Nicole is on duty. We have to watch for uh, fishing nets. Uh, but at the moment it's very calm. Just us. It's around 11 p.m. My shift is over. Nicole is taking over. I'm already a bit tired. Try to sleep two hours or at least to rest. And then we'll see. It's still a bit uncomfortable. The waves are from the side. But Making good progress. Good night. On the second day, there was just us and the big blue ocean. The time was going very slow, and I was listening to some audio podcasts. It's much more ambitious than ours that have been made in in uh, in uh, multi hulls or even order built multi hulls with with uh, families aboard. We get used to the movements of the boat in the rhythm of the waves. We are now one and a half day, of, no, 24 hours on the way. And everything good. The wind calm and go with the big swell in sleep. And sleeping. I look forward to sleep again. After 24 hours, we were able to change our course and to take a direct heading to the Canary Islands. outside it still looks the same sometimes there are some birds flying around they're always uh, the same waves from the same direction the Sun is making her way over the horizon I was listening to I don't know, 10 to 10 audio podcasts I don't know what I have to listen anymore. Nicole is awake. She slept for, I don't know, almost three hours, four hours. It's now the second morning of this passage. We are getting closer to the half distance. It's going well so far. We as a crew of two had a watch system of three hours. Three hours watch, three hours sleeping and relax. 
we have to go around this um, shallow area here. It is crazy. It um, the sea floor goes up from 1,500 meters up to 10 meters, and it's better not to be too close to this area because the waves they can start to break. On the ocean, every mistake can become a big problem. There was a moment of obstruction and the backstay hit me in my face. A backstay hit me and now I need some uh, surgery. <laughs> Luckily it was just a small cut, but it showed how fast something can happen. It's uh, Nico's watch. She was sleeping all day, so she's now in very good shape and I will go to bed. Now the boat is uh, running very calm. We have uh, the waves from behind and just little wind. So we hope that we can enjoy the night and have a calm night with just little waves and no uh, problems, no issues at all. Looking forward for this night. Everything looks good. In the night there was no wind but dense fog. The ocean became very spooky. Nicole waked me up that there are some dolphins. Well, let's have a look. Finally we set sail again, the wind came back. This is it. How do you feel after three days without shower? stay here, look around for our ship. We hope it's our last night. We have now fourth night here. And I look forward to have a shower. On our last morning there was quite some wind and waves. But shortly later it was dead calm. Just uh, three hours to go. Four. Four hours to go. And then we will visit our first uh, island. We were sure we can enjoy the last hours in light winds, but everything became different. The wind was picking up again. Still two hours to go. So just the last effort and then we are in the marina. One hour to go. That's how it looks from outside. We were approaching Lanzarote, but we couldn't enjoy the moment. Our furler of the Genoa jammed and we were not able to roll our Genoa in. A big problem to take our Genoa in, we not can roll it anymore and 
that you have to wait with a lot of wind. It's not comfortable. Because of the acceleration zone in front of Arecif, the wind picked up to more than 20 knots. We were racing towards the island and we were not able to roll our Genoa in. We steered our boat into the wind and finally the furler of the Genoa unjammed and we were able to roll the Genoa back in. We can't believe it, but we are in Lanzarote. After four days, four nights, we arrived. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was not easy, but we are here. And we are happy! We made it 500 miles over the open ocean. A real offshore passage with our small trimaran. What comes next? We are exploring the island of Lanzarote. And Asian Dat Foundation was playing on a festival in Arecife. Fly over, fly over. Please subscribe to our channel and see you next time.